Carolyn Doobie here. Oh, what's the play for today? Well, today it's all about something incredibly scary. Something that often keeps people frozen in their tracks to the point where they don't pick up their art supplies. What is that thing that can strike that fear? The blank page. But here's a little secret. Once that page isn't blank anymore, it's not nearly as scary. So how do you decide what you're going to put on that page? How do you get started on that? Well, one of the things that I create every week is an art play prompt. These are completely free and I have a link down below if you want to sign up for them to have them sent to you each week in your inbox that go out every Sunday. Now on these is some prompt to start with. This one I'm going to show you here is make a pattern with a found art supply. What that means is look around. Anything that you've got, you can use as an art supply. Now what I'm going to be using is this piece of foam. There was a tube of foam that came as packing material and I cut it in half and I'm going to use this to start this page. I've got some magenta paint here that I'm simply dipping this thing in and then I'm going to start stamping it all over this page. As soon as I start to get something on the page, no longer is it blank, so it's no longer as scary as it used to be. So how did I make the decision that I need to fill this page with this pattern? Why didn't I stop about a third of the way through this when I really loved how it looked? Why did I keep going? Well, there are two big reasons. One, I was having fun doing it. And the other is, I put out a lot of paint, so I wanted to use a bunch of that up. Now that the paint is completely dry, I want to add some more color around this. And to do that, I'm going to use Marabou's Aqua Ink. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, was this in the prompt? The prompt said make a pattern with a found art supply, and now I'm going off script here because clearly the aqua inks are not a found art supply. Well, here's the thing about the prompts. They're meant as a jumping off point. They're not strict rules or guidelines or must do's or shoulds. It's a place to get your play started. So once you're rolling with it, then let it take you wherever it goes. You can do these prompts exactly as they're written, or you can interpret them in any way that fits your style, the supplies that you have, or what you're in the mood to do. There are no rights and wrong with these things. What's most important is that you're playing. These prompts are sent out each week on Sunday, and even though you have one coming each week, it's not like there's a deadline with this. There's no time, time limit on play. You can use them in that week, or you can use them whenever it fits your schedule. So if you'd like to get those sent to you so that you have a new one each week to start your play, use the link down below and get signed up. So why am I using that palette over there as I'm doing this? Well, that's so I can mix colors together that I want. See, these watercolor inks, they can be mixed together. But of course, I don't want to do that in the jar because that would contaminate the whole jar. But over in the paint palette, I'm willing to mix stuff together there. The other thing that I do is if I've got a paintbrush with a lot of water on it and I dip it in there, that's going to dilute it down a little bit and make it not quite as strong or vibrant a color. Now, that's not something that I want to do in the jar, so that's why I'm doing that kind of stuff over in the palette. These watercolor inks can be reworked even after they're dry. So what that means is when you're all done with something, if you come back later with something that's wet, add some water to it, that kind of thing, you can continue to rework those colors around. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've been enjoying this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new one out. And if you'd like to get those art play prompts delivered right to your inbox, use the link down below. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.